So if you've ever bought electronics parts, you've probably seen these moisture sensitive um, device label uh, that's often on the parts. And it's, it, they'll be in this kind of thicker bag than usual that's been heat sealed. Um, so nowadays you often have to buy a lot more parts than you need for single builds. Uh, so I wanted to show you quickly how you can um, open and reseal and repack these parts uh, because it's really handy when you're doing production or managing some devices to be able to, to keep stock on hand um, and keep it correctly sealed. So it turns out to be pretty easy to do. Um, you'll need a few things. So I have a, a bench set up here with an ESD mat. Um, we actually have a conductive flooring so you won't see me with a wrist strap at all. Um, so I have conductive sandals on. Um, and I can confirm that I'm, I have good conductivity through my hand. So um, you, if you had a normal floor, you probably want a wrist strap or something like that. Uh, the key item will be this impulse sealer here. So what this thing is, is um, this is actually you. So this is just one off locally bought. So like Uline and stuff sells these. Um, and you basically, when you press it down, it heats up here to, to seal a, a bag. Um, you'll need a stock of the bags too. So we have some of these like moisture sensitive bags. So I'll put some of these part numbers um, in the, the comments. So these are these thicker bags. So the, this is for resealing stuff if you, if you need new ones. Uh, you can reuse the bags that parts come in a little bit, but there's gonna be a limit to how often you can do it. Um, the other thing you might need, so if you're gonna be repacking, I've got some desiccant here. So this big black tub is a tub of desiccant. So if I we'll open this up, uh, so it comes in a real nice system that seals it back together well. Um, so in this bag, we've got a whole bunch of desiccant in there. So if you're you're packing new parts, you have to put desiccant um, into the bag. Uh, the other thing you might want, if you want to be legitimate, is you have these um, the humidity sensor cards. I'm not going to bother opening this, but this is just a tin. You just pry it open. Um, and there's a bunch of those cards. So you, you can repack everything um, really easily. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna open a tray. So I have these uh, parts that I just need to get a single one out of. My camera around here. Um, for a prototype, right? So I bought a bunch of them because in case I end up doing a production run, I wanna make sure I have them. Um, and so all we'll do is move the tray to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and Cut these, so let's just adjust that down a bit. Um, I'll cut somewhere along the seal, right? I, I try to leave as much room as possible um, so that we can reseal it a few times. Um, so from now, we wanna work fairly quickly, right? So because the bag is open. Um, so on this tray, you'll see your, your moisture sensitivity indicator card. So this is what I have replacements of if we needed to, to repack this in new things. Um, and in the bag, there should be the little desiccant pack. Um, so that's all shoved there, right? And so we can see on this tray, we got a bunch of parts here, right? And then a bunch of no parts. So there's just one little area with parts. Um, and we can see this is the bottom side. Um, so in this case, they're using these straps, right? That are, that are sealed once. Um, so we're going to cut the strap and obviously you want to be really careful because you don't want stuff to jump around now. So we're going to carefully cut these while kind of keeping pressure down to make sure the sides don't separate. And then very carefully, um, at this point you can either, you know, I'm going to remove the strap like this and put this back down. Um, you may just want to take the top off and remove your one part. So I'll make sure it's it's not going to shift on me. Remove the top, right? And then there's all of our nice, um, our nice parts there. So now all we have to do is grab a pair of tweezers over somewhere. I bet you I'll put this right on top of it. Oh, they're over there. I'll grab my tweezers and grab this one part out. So I'm just going to take a single part out. Um, so you could either use tweezers or, right, use like a suction pen or something like that. But I'll just remove one, put this back. There we go. Um, now we need to keep this, this solid. So there's a few ways that you can keep this held down. One way is tape. 
Um, so this is this anti-static, so this 3M tape um, is actually slightly static dissipative, so you could wrap this around a bunch. Um, that's kind of the cheaper way. What I've gotten now, though, is I actually got some conductive rubber bands. So I got this big bag of conductive rubber bands. Um, and so grab a few out. And you more or less just kind of very gently, and let me move it back. So you can see what I've done. I put the edge over here, um, and we're going to have to double it. Right, so then we want to make sure we don't accidentally rip half of the, the top off or something. Okay, I'm going to hold it down like that, right, and do the same thing. So this side actually has the parts in it, so I did the other side first. There. So now we have a pretty solid tray. Um, so now all we're going to do is put it back in here. Right, put our desiccant pack on top and put this in. Um, you'll sometimes see these that are really sucked down and sealed, which you're actually not supposed to do. So if you suck it, if you seal them really hard, um, the, the air, you know, the, the seal can actually, what you can do is you can either, the desiccant pack gets sealed away from the tray, um, or, okay, sorry, there's a weird cut because my phone ran out of space. Um, so yeah, so you don't want to do them too tight because you could actually pierce the bag. So really, this is actually kind of the recommended, you know, something like this. There's a tiny bit of air, but the desiccant will take care of any humidity left in there. Um, I did experiment with, so what I also have over here is that in the background there, there's a little vacuum pump. Um, and this was actually used for something else as well. But basically, if you turn this on, uh, what I've done is I've flattened a piece of tubing here. And you can actually put it in like that and then sort of tighten it down. Okay, so it'll slowly draw the air out. Um, but we're, I'm not going to use that, so occasionally I'll use it for some trays with like FPGAs. Um, but now what we do is we just seal this. And the trick with the impulse sealer is I'm going to give it two so it's timed. Right, so the light goes off. Um, these bags are really thicker than they're designed, so I kind of give it two shots. Um, once it cools, you can test it because what should happen is if you pull it, it should not, right? It, it shouldn't open. Um, so if you if it you do a real short one, you'll see you'll be able to rip this open. Um, and there you go. So now it's been one part's been removed. Bags resealed, desiccants in there, um, tray should be safe. So the final thing I'll do is I'll mark the, the quantity down so in the future we know how many are actually in here. But that's it. Hopefully this was helpful as you deal with the uh, part shortages and having to reseal various electronics parts.